Sin creates a circumstance that demands a sacrifice to obtain forgiveness. According to the Hebrew Bible, that usually meant something or someone must die. As suggested in this discussion in my book's subtitle, I believe death is still a requirement. The challenge for people who believe the Bible is that all such forms of legitimate animal sacrifices were discontinued with the destruction of the temple as prophesied by Jesus shortly before His crucifixion. This fact was mentioned earlier and deserves additional explanation. When confronted by the religious leaders who opposed Jesus, famous conflicts arose between Jesus and His detractors. He was known to disapprove of certain traditions that had been inappropriately exalted by some rabbis of His day. Numerous heated debates ensued as recorded in the New Testament. Sometimes these happened in and around the temple. In His famous Olivet Discourse, Jesus had left the temple. His disciples wanted to make sure that the beauty and majesty of Herod's construction of the new temple in Jerusalem had not been lost on Jesus. They were impressed. Jesus was not. And as they sat across the tiny valley from the temple on the Mount of Olives, Jesus took the opportunity to explain that the entire religious house of cards was going to come crashing down. The temple was at the center of Jewish life. It was the crown jewel of Rome's Jerusalem. It was the financial hub of the region. The economy of Jerusalem was fueled by the pilgrims who were required to annually flock to the temple, to yield their offerings, and to fund the animal sacrifices that purchased their atonement. The temple had been the most stable and enduring symbol of the Jewish people's connection to God. So one can only imagine the shock felt by the followers of Jesus when He calmly declared that the temple would soon be destroyed. It was completely unrealistic. It was destabilizing. And it was politically incorrect to suggest what seemed like an absurd concept. Yet that is precisely what He prophesied. And it was precisely what happened a few decades after He was crucified. Sacrifices ceased. Temple Judaism died. Jesus rose from the grave and was made known to the world as the living example of God's love and the perfect sacrifice once and for all who believed. In this miraculous revelation, Jesus became the light to the Gentiles. Through Jesus, Israel's God was broadly embraced by those who lived outside of Judaism and was successfully made known to the non-Jewish world. 